Hello. This time I would like to show you how to use volumetric fog in Corona Renderer. So I have prepared this little scene. I will show you what it looks like. So there is this very simple landscape and some water and a small forest. And that's all. So let's get back to our camera. Okay. And now I will enable interactive rendering to show you what it looks like when it's rendered. Oh, extended viewports, Corona Interactive. Okay, uh, you can see there is no fog in this scene yet. So let's enable it. Let's go to Render Setup, Scene, and scroll down to Global Volume Material. Let's enable this checkbox. And I have prepared a sample material that I will use now to show you what it looks like. But later I will show you how to recreate it from scratch and explain the settings that we have inside this material. So let's just copy it into this global volume material slot. Okay. And now as you can see there are these really nice light rays and scattering of light. And I can move my camera to show you what's going on. Okay, it updates really fast. Okay, let's get back to our camera. And now I will disable this, uh, this material. And I will try to recreate it from scratch. So let's create a new Corona Volume material. And when you create it, and it's using these default values, it's completely invisible, it's transparent. So if I copy it here, nothing should change. And to enable this fog, the first thing we need to do is change this distance parameter. So let's put something like 5 meters here. Okay, and now everything becomes much darker, because uh, as we can read in this description here. This is the color that the originally white rays will have after traveling this distance, which is 5 meters. So after 5 meters, white light rays get this color. Okay, so let's just increase this to something like 50 meters. Now it's a little brighter. And the second thing we need to do to enable the actual scattering is change this color. But after we change it, the light is scattering inside this media. Okay. You can also enable this option, single bounce only. It should make it render much faster and there shouldn't be much uh, visual difference between when it's unchecked and when it's checked. Okay, there is also emission uh, emission distance parameter which will make the uh, this material glow. But obviously we don't want this. And there is directionality, which is very interesting. As we can read here, it uh, creates forward or backward scattering. So positive values will make for forward scattering, creating this kind of halo around the sound, sun. And negative values will make the fog look more uniform. So I think we will put a positive value here. And to show you what it does, I will unhide this huge box because it produces very nice um, the so-called god rays and when I move this you can see these shafts of light coming from this object so now it is using a positive number and let's put a negative number now and the god rays are much less visible than before. 
So this is the first way of enabling volumetric fog. And now you can do exactly the same using the standard corona material. So let's delete this again. And I have a standard corona material here. And I will put this material in here. Uh, obviously it won't work now. So this needs to be configured correctly to work. So let's disable the fuse. Let's make it completely transparent by setting opacity to zero. And let's enable volumetric absorption and scattering. So same as before. Absorption, something like 50 meters. Scattering, some brighter value. And some directionality. And then we can use single bounce only to make it render faster. So as you can see, it looks exactly the same as with this Corona Volume material. So there is no, no difference really, but you can use any of these workflows. So that's basically all we can say about volumetric fog. So thanks for watching.